Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Hi, my name's Ethan Rossler. I'm a welding engineer here at Miller Electric. Today, we are here to talk about common issues you might encounter when MIG welding aluminum. Porosity, smut, burn through, lack of fusion, and hot cracking are some of these common issues. Let's dive into our first topic, porosity. Porosity is a common issue in aluminum MIG welding. To reduce or eliminate the porosity in your welds, there are a few things to keep in mind. Aluminum forms an oxide layer when it's exposed to oxygen. This is a porous layer that has a higher melting temperature than the aluminum beneath it. It can trap contaminants like moisture, oil, and grease in it. Aluminum should be dry when you're getting ready to weld it. Avoid big swings in temperature, which can cause condensation. This condensation is a common source for hydrogen, which is soluble in molten aluminum. If your aluminum is damp, heating the material up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit can help drive off the moisture and is safe to do with most aluminum alloys. It is important to clean the material using a solvent first to make sure that there are no oils or greases present as they are a source of hydrogen. Next, use a grinder, a stainless steel wire brush with light pressure, or chemical means to remove the oxide layer. Welding with higher currents, which can be accomplished by increasing your wire feed speed or wire diameter, will allow for a more fluid weld pool. This can provide more time to allow the gaseous hydrogen to escape before it's trapped in the form of porosity. Adding helium to your gas mixture can also help reduce trapping porosity in your welds. The additional heat that it provides will allow more time for the hydrogen to escape. If you want to check your results after implementing these best practices, a fillet break test is an easy and cheap way to test your progress. To learn more, visit MillerWelds.com aluminum.